Imagine a water test as easy as a pregnancy test to tell whether this waterway is COVID-19 positive or not. So we just got here, here in Peranchak where we have a trash block one. Typically at this time of the day, you know, this parking lot behind me is, would be completely full. But today we have some very different friends. This week, we're continuing our cleanups, but from a distance and making sure that all the plastics is still being recuperated. Here in Indonesia, the president has made it a law to make sure that everybody wants here in public places to wear a mask. And actually the government has completely closed down the beach. The beach is literally just 50 meters away from here. But we're still very protected with gloves and face mask and our boots, avoiding all potential water contact. We're excited this week to be speaking to Professor Zugin at Crunchfield University to learn about his solution that may tell us whether or not our waterways have coronavirus. Oh, thank you so much for, for making the time to, to speak to me. Every day, you know, we're, we're in the water, cleaning up the, the water, and we recently learned that there could be some chances that COVID-19 could live in our wastewater. And in Indonesia, because a lot of the the waterways and rivers have a lot of untreated waste that is poured directly into our rivers. I wanted to, to learn from you as an expert whether you yeah. had any advice for us cleaning the rivers and, and also speaking about the device that you invented. I'm actually working on this paper based device for quite a few years. Initially, we do this work to diagnostic infection disease like malaria with the same concept. So if we test the COVID in this whole community uh, of the people who may be infection or not infection. Uh, people who are using the test, or every people who are using the kind of test, as a only one to predict those infection, potential spread in this community. Just tested all the zero, all the water in the community to catch up, to get more information about the, the, the infection or health, or public health condition. It's not only this COVID, but also can be expanded to other infection disease monitoring. For people, obviously, that are staying at home, I'm sure you're, you're, you're staying at home as well. If you have any precautions or recommendations for people uh, that what they should do to stay safe. It's better to avoid the government guidance to keep the social distance. And just, to, you know, if you go outside, it helps better to protect yourself. During COVID-19, it's, it's particularly important that we are extra careful with what's in the water because we really don't know what's inside. And so technologies like, you know, what Dr. Zugin has invented could really be key here. Uh, but beyond that, in Indonesia, because there's so much sewage that gets poured directly into these streams, we need to make sure that we're completely avoiding any water contact because this is not just COVID-19, but it could be any other bacteria. And the truth of the reality, you know, just within a short second, Plastic pollution will always flush down no matter what. But really hoping that, you know, all of you guys stay safe and we'll see you next week again on the river.